everyone welcome back to my youtube channel or if you're new here then welcome i hope you're all good very random moment to be starting the vlog it's wednesday happy wednesday it is currently just coming up to lunchtime and i have just got back from a walk with my little shadow who is currently waiting around because sorry what has josh done to that cushion He knows how I feel. If he wants to scrunch up the cushions to lie on them, they must be returned to their usual position. I'm sorry, what is that? Anyway, happy Wednesday, as I was saying. I look a bit worse for wear. I'm completely barefaced. My skin has been playing up a bit this week, which is not like me at all. My hair is so greasy that all I've been able to do with it is just shove it in braids. And I'm literally wearing half of my outfit of the day because I just actually got changed quickly into my joggers and my crocs so I could go for a walkies, took the jeans off, you know, so I need to get re-ready basically. I have had such a hectic morning. I've been to the gym. I've then, what did I do after that? Come home, made the bed, had a shower. I've been to pick up some cakes this morning, been to pick up some flowers. I'll explain all of that in a minute. And I've been to get my car washed, come back. We've just been on a bit of a long WALK. And now I'm just going to eat some lunch. It's currently one o'clock. So just about lunchtime for me. I'm actually heading to Lauren's in a bit um, to go and see her. I'm gonna come back to you and chat to you about that in a minute um but i'm just gonna eat my lunch before it goes cold and i really want to show you what i'm eating because i've been eating um meal prep meals this week and it has been a game changer i actually think i've got a delivery coming from them today um so if it does come today i will let you know what it's like it's not an ad or anything um it's just something i bought myself but i did manage to bag you all a discount code which i'll pop the details of everything in down below if you did want to get some meal prep what you see here is chinese five spice chicken and teriyaki noodles which smells bloody gorge i've had all sorts this week jerk chicken prairie chicken rogan josh obviously pretty much all i eat is chicken there is a lot more other options from the company but yeah when the delivery arrives in a bit i'll show you what they um look like when they come guys i've just had a delivery so this is the meal prep company that i've been buying from diets to go i have thoroughly been enjoying these and i've tried a lot of meal prep companies before and these are honestly the most yummy tasty food that i've tried in a long time that is already done i want to say just obsessed with this so this is how it comes it comes wrapped in cling film with like little ice packs in the box as well to keep it cool but it prints off your plan so obviously it's got my name and then all of my choices that i've chose over the last couple of weeks and what they need to pop in the parcel which i love and this is how they look honestly the diet to go website is so easy to navigate and i'm a bit of a tech freak so i hate websites that are just difficult and not straightforward and easy it is just a 10 out of 10 so easy to do all of your macros and your calories are easy to just see on the front of the part it's got the title of what it is also mfp friendly which you can obviously just scan it and it will pop all of the macronutrients and ingredients and calories straight into your my fitness pal which is a bloody dream darlings i'm just about to set off for lauren's and i'm about to get her goodies that i bought her in the car then i'll show you a little outfit of the day and then we'll chat more in depth about what i'm about to show you and by the time i show you this and we talk in this vlog lauren would have already spoke about this on her instagram stories anyway so we're all good to go but you know me anything my friends do in life i celebrate and i mean anything and everything so here we've got some cupcakes that of course say happy new nose how funny are they look at this um plaster and needle and then the pills the nose which i just think is hilarious and then of course it says happy new nose honestly Gemma, who makes all of my cakes for me has been asked some very 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 strange requests to go on top of cakes for me because i've always just got really weird ideas but there's an actual nose on a cupcake so lauren has of course had a rhinoplasty she had it done on sunday she's currently sunday monday tuesday wednesday she's three days post-op so she's very sore she's very in the stages where she's like oh my god like what have i done like honestly if you've had a rhinoplasty like myself you will know the recovery is not an easy road i'm gonna come back and talk to you about that in a minute when i'm driving because i'm in a bit of a rush so we'll chat when i'm on my way i also of course got some flowers made up because honestly what is a recovery without flowers flowers and then just me being me adding a personal touch this says get well soon my darling lay and lauren love you a eh? but how gorgeous are they look at the ribbon around the top and they're huge they're literally massive so i'm gonna go and pop all of this in the car then i'll come back and we can do a little ootd right my darlings quick ootd before i head off i am wearing my track trainers these baggy ripped white jeans are from plt last spring summer 
white jeans just get me in the mood for spring summer they've got like a lot of cargo detail which is just me all over they're such a nice fit um if they've still got them on site i'll link them below or link some similar ones but it's gonna be a lot of white jeans in my wardrobe this spring summer the t-shirt is boda skins of course always wear the boda tees they're just my favorite thing jacket is like a faux leather crop effect jacket this is from asos and i've got my speedy with me today i haven't used this in months and now i seem to be using it all the time glasses are of course my favorite one pound primark glasses which i just have in every single color but this is my little, it's kind of like Hayley Bieber vibes, isn't it? Hi, I am going to get copyrighted. Seriously copyrighted one of these days if I keep testing my luck, playing the bangers in the vlog. Hello? Hello? Hi. Where are you? On my way to Lauren's house. Okay, are you back tonight or? Yeah, but it'll probably be about 10-ish, half 10. Okay then. Uh, would you mind feeding bumper for me? Yeah, it's fine. Thank you. And there was something else I was going to say. Have you got any plans for dinner? No. So in the fridge, I've got a lot of meal preps. Okay. On the right are ones that got delivered today. On the left, the top two have got today's date on. They need to be eaten by today. So if you fancy one of those, just heat it up. Okay, then no worries. Okay. Okay, bye. Right, I'll switch in a bit. Bye. Yeah, so you may have remembered, in the sales I shot it, towards the end, me and Lauren, obviously, we've both had um, breast augmentation. I think Lauren's was eight years ago, and mine was 10 years ago this year. Lauren did mention that she's gonna have a rhinoplasty done early this year, which is what she had done on Sunday. Now, it's really funny because, like I said, Lauren's eight years post-op with her boobs. I'm 10 years post-op with mine, but obviously my rhinoplasty now was nearly two years ago, which is mad. It was just before COVID hit, like literally, two weeks before covid like all came to life so at the time i got my rhinoplasty i was eight years post-op with my boobs so we've had the exact procedures the exact same amount apart which is just mad so yeah she's very bruised right now she's very swollen right now um yesterday she was having one of those like we call it the regret day like after surgery you tend to have like the regret day um and it's the day where you're like what have i done like why have i done this to myself but obviously for her it's handy for her that i've been through um having a rhinoplasty already um because it is such an invasive procedure like it is like it's actually madness i actually had an open rhinoplasty um where they literally peel your skin back and lauren had a closed where they've been able to um, amend what she wanted to amend through her nostrils um, and a little bit i believe through the side honestly give me a boob job any day of the week over getting my nose done again because oh that recovery well if you've watched the vlogs you will know the rhinoplasty vlogs you saw me in some sites in those vlogs guys i think it's been a bit of a shock to her system but it's all good and she's coping well and she's staying on top of the painkillers and just keeping herself chilled and relaxed which is all you can do really Honey, guys i'm at lauren's in a blankie not allowed to see her say hey lauren Hi. How are you feeling? I feel like this is an interview, a red carpet it, yeah. interview. I'm fine. She's doing good. You look better. Feeling good, living better. Feeling good, living Can better. You see how nasally I am. Yeah, you sound nasally, <laughs> but you look loads better. You do oh, look good. God. We've just ordered an arrow. They could see. If only I could flip the camera, guys. Um, no mirror, we've just been drinking so. tea, watching Sasuke go dating, catching up on YouTube. Yeah. And um, no, no, you can't. You can't, definitely can't see you. And we're just waiting for Nando's to get here. Yeah. No, not, not yet. yet. <laughs> we thought it was, but it was a false alarm. Darius is upstairs also having an Ando's with us. Anyway, just thought we'd check in. And then, <laughs> oh. Laura's just like laughing at herself. It's just her days. Oh. Like, oh, honestly, I don't think I'm even going to post on Instagram what I look like, as in when I do post. Yeah, I think... I think I'll scare people. Yeah. <laughs> One thing I'll say is I did not look as bruised as you no. do. But I bruise like my hand. Lauren, we literally go for a night out. It's and Lauren, worse. Lo you want to see Lauren's hand where the cannula has been? You can stick your hand in. Stick your hand here. Look at Lauren's hand where the cannula has been. <sighs> that is how badly she bruises. I do not Look. bruise. Like that's her normal hand. Well, I mean, so you can only imagine what her face is like. I just don't bruise. I've just got up, I've just got skin wear. I'm trying to like not get you in the background. Yeah, I've just got skin wear. I just don't bruise. It's really strange. Um, but Lauren, like when we go yeah. out, when we go out on nights out and stuff, the next day her legs will be battered. She, you know, gorgeous, gorgeous girls are covered in unexplained bruises. Lauren is that gorgeous, gorgeous girl. Anyway, cutlery is at. 
ready and any minute now delivery should be here yum it's it's the fruit next to the landos for me <laughs> why did you buy a pineapple oh lifted oh is that What's to help with your taste though? darling make sure you leave some because it's oh ashes as well God. so why are the shortages good morning oh my god i am a tired gal today it's currently 5 55 a.m i got in from lauren's at 1 a.m probably didn't sleep till like 20 past one after i brushed my teeth got into bed so half one half two half three half four half five four four hours sleep your girl is running off four hours sleep but it is what it is put myself in that position and the workout's got to happen anyway so here we are about to go and train back and shoulders and then bumper and i are gonna head out on a long walk little gym outfit of the day bra is on an active leggings on primer and then i've got my air fonds on today got my coffee i am looking a bit worse for her this morning i'm not gonna lie but i am gonna wash my hair as soon as i'm back from the gym where i've had it in like braid yesterday it's just like so curly and flat to my head but last night after the nando's was very successful because we bought our flights to Miami and also a couple of flights to Ibiza on a couple of different occasions, so that's exciting. So the next stop for the non-UK vlogs is Lasher Take Miami on the 21st of March, which is going to be such a good one. And then we are heading to Ibiza at the end of April for Darius's defected opening over there. And then we've got the wedding in May. I say we, like I said, I'm literally getting married to the both of them. Anyway, darlings, I'm going to finish my coffee train back on shoulders and then come back and get bumper out of bed so we can go and get some good steps in today guys i've just got here so this car park i'm not even joking in the summer is absolute carnage you've never seen anything like it in your life have you puppy have you are you all strapped in in your booster seat? Where are we going? Hey? Are we going out? On a long WALK? Going on a long walkies? Oh my god, there's so many things! He's literally not been here in so long. Let me just show you what we've got packed in the dog mom bag. This stays in the car, but these are just my essentials when we're going on a walk that is further away from home. Bumper's towel, of course. We've got here's pop-up bowl. This was literally like £2.50 from Matalan. It's honestly one of the best things I've ever bought. Um, it does hook onto his lead if you want to take it out with you, but he will literally not drink when we're out on the walk unless it's a bowl that's already out in a park or something. He will only drink when we get back to the car. It's highly annoying. I've got these doggy crash bikes, which are just everything for pooey bums and mucky paws. I think I get these in power stretcher. Um, yeah, very handy. Bottle of water, obviously, for the water bowl and then a little bag of treats, which have to come in my pocket, don't they? To tell someone he's being a good boy when he comes back yeah but she's wondering if it's gonna feel like she's forever wondering if it's gonna feel like she's whenever she leaves her safe space she leaves her safe space wondering if it is forever or is there some place that will make her feel better make her feel better then that's where she'll go She's wondering if it's gonna feel like she's forever Wondering if it's gonna feel like she's whenever She leaves her safe space She leaves her safe space Wondering if it is forever Or is there some place that will make her feel better
Wow, I do actually look a bit worse for wear, don't I? Um, sorry, I am absolutely starving. Mm. I don't know what's wrong with me. I've had my usual eggs and spinach and I'm still hungry. So it is Saturday. We skipped a whole day on the vlog yesterday, obviously. I think the last time I vlogged, me and Bumper were walking in loggerheads on Thursday. Sorry, what is actually worse than somebody talking whilst they're eating? Hello, pudding. Speaking of which, here he is. Um, so yeah, I actually did um, aim to vlog yesterday, but yesterday ended up being a really random day because I was literally sat on the sofa chilling after I got back from the gym. Me and my brother were just sat here. And then the post came through the door and we both got an identical letter each. And we were like, that's strange. I opened it and it was actually from the solicitors um, just before Christmas. Was it just before Christmas? Yeah, my uh, grandma's sister passed away and it seems everything is now in probate. So me and Josh had to sort all of that out yesterday, um, which obviously is not appropriate to be vlogging so we were at the solicitors yesterday and mm, oh my god watermelon is my favorite thing let me put you down let me put you down so oh geez louise geez louise i am in a bit of a getting shit done outfit you'll all recognize this jumpsuit i always put it on when i've got loads to do from plt i am about to head out to go and get my botox my chin filler and my lip filler done so Gonna take you all with me. Of course I am once I actually stop stuffing my face. Bumba, come here. What's this? Chloe and I are going out tonight, which is so nice. Honestly, mine and Chloe's schedules at the minute are like ever clashing. We've just never got time, or especially on a weekend where we can go out and have dinner and drinks together. But tonight's the night, which is very exciting. But yeah, gonna get ready later. Haven't got a clue what I'm wearing. And then gonna head to Chloe's. We're gonna drink and put the world to rights. And then we're gonna head out for dinner. We're going to a Pan-Asian restaurant, honestly. Pan-Asian food is fastly becoming one of my favourite cuisines to eat when I'm out and that is on spending a lot of time with Lauren Watson because it's also her fave. Good boy. That's it. Sorry guys. All the teas are gone by the time he gets it. Eat that bit there. Good boy. You are just the cutest little thing. I mean, love you so much. Can you believe we're going to have a five-year-old this month? At the end of the month, 28th of February, this little bugger was brought into the world five whole years ago. Some of you have actually been here, well, not here, but maybe on my Instagram, since Bumper was a puppy, which is actually madness, isn't it? This is it. This is my infamous getting shit done jumpsuit. So nice. And I just always wear it. And I want to bounce around like a Power Ranger. I'm actually going to put a jelly on because it's bloody freezing. And I need to put a Power on as well.
don't mind me i've literally just thrown my dressing gown on is anybody else like that as soon as they get home i have to have my dressing gown on it's absolutely freezing i've actually just put the heating on i just popped to get some milk and bits from um, morrison's on my way home and i came out and i opened my car door and it literally flew open the wind is so bad today don't know what the hell is going on but perks of living by the coast hey i've just been eating some salt and vinegar squares um so even though i'm about to show you my lips I might actually have a bit of crisp in my teeth so I'm sorry about that so looking good obviously you saw when Botox goes in and you would have seen previously it goes like tiny little lumps all over your head until it settles but Botox is totally different to filler because it doesn't have like instant results it happens over the course of two weeks which is why you go back for a two-week top-up because obviously you can't see where it has worked straight away because some areas tend to work better than others so for me the size of my eyes and my left brow always tends to need a top-up in two weeks because the muscle there is so much stronger my lips obviously right now look a little bit aggressive because they are swollen kind of straight away so you can kind of see it's starting to bruise a little bit here they're feeling a little bit hard nothing crazy um just the norm but honestly the way Laura does my lips chef's kiss um but obviously they're really swollen i only get half a mil and it will go down in a couple of days and look completely natural and then we just put a tiny bit in my bottom lip just to balance it out i do have quite a big bottom lip naturally anyway chin again instant results we only popped a tiny bit in my chin had held quite a lot from the last time so didn't actually need a lot there um but just popped a little bit in just for profile balancing i just like it from the side everything to look as even as it possibly can so again a little bit of swelling but that will go down but i just thought i'd come and show you my face darlings hello i have just finished my makeup i just need to do my bottom lash mascara um my contact lenses are literally making my eyes water so bad so we're just holding off on that for a minute just in my dressing gown but i'm trying to decide what to wear oh my god i'm obsessed with how my lips look now that i've got my lipstick on oh my god it's my hair right it's so windy it's really 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 bad weather so Chloe's like I'm gonna scrape my hair back and I was like you know what so am I because it's just not even worth doing it anyway current situation what the hell do I wear I literally cannot work out an outfit for the first time ever I've got this blazer which I literally love it's like a lemony color it's the same as the gray and the beige ones that I always wear from PLT the granddad blazer such good quality for PLT not that PLT isn't good quality normally but I think this is from their premium range also got this linen-y one which is new from Boohoo which I am obsessed with but it's not as oversized as I like this one is years and years years old from ASOS honestly I have so I've got more blazers than scents I've got so many blazers, it's not even normal. Okay, my darlings, this is the outfit we've ended up with. I've just oiled my body, so looking very shiny as per usual. So I've just scraped my hair back. Um, there is a transformation with my hair pending with Abby. So until then, I feel like this is just going to be it. It's not for like three weeks, but we can hold on till then. I popped on the little PLT crop top. I just think it looks really cute. Um, it does actually look nice without the blazer, but it is absolutely freezing. And then I popped on the linen style blazer from Boohoo. Leather shorts that I always wear. And then I went for the straight boots. It was so funny. I was just sending a picture to clothes saying, do I go for the straight ones or the bunched up ones? And I nearly left the house with one of each. And then of course, my Burberry bag because it just ties it all in together very well. I feel like you can't see me. There we go. That's a bit of a full length, even though I'm gonna be sideways. Hey, Meadow. <laughs> Guys, this is Meadow, Chloe and Rich's dog. She is honestly the best thing. She's grown so much since I last saw her. Hi. Do you know Bobby Bach? Pretty Nate. Pretty Nate, ma. Hello, Bobby. She is a uh, bilingual like bumper of course you are the most gorgeous girl you are so cute let's get this topped up we need some good energy in this room right now darlings this is such a nice scent this is the focus your mind scent i'm honestly obsessed with it guys it's actually monday like we've rolled over into a whole new week because somebody me had the hangover from hell yesterday and could not for the life of me pick up this camera to finish the vlog so we're gonna get it done today i was so drunk on saturday night that i can't even face putting the vlog footage from my phone in this vlog so i think the last time you saw me was when i was with meadow at chloe's house because honestly i just look so ridiculously drunk in all of the vlog footage from that night so that's just not youtube worthy whatsoever all i'm gonna say is this 
if you saw my Instagram story on Saturday night, no, you didn't. We are taking no questions on the matter at this time. Whilst I am about to dry my hair, I thought I would just let you all know that I have got a brand new hair burst code this month, which I always come and let the girl gang know, the vlog gang on YouTube, because you guys live for my hair burst codes. And honestly, so do I, I'm not gonna lie. So whilst I've got a brand new one, I thought I'd come and share it with you. I honestly, cannot remember my life before hair burst products like on saturday night when i don't know if anybody saw on my stories i was deciding which pair of boots to wear and when i was taking the stories i had the smooth and balm in my hand and one of the girls that works at hair burst she was like i love how you're just carrying the smooth and balm it's like you're never without a hair burst product and it's so true um, i'm just gonna use my hair elixir my beloved so i literally don't go a day without using this because it promotes hair growth obviously it adds volume which is why i love spraying this at the roots and makes your hair so super shiny but not only that it is of course a heat protectant so i use it every single time i blow dry my hair obviously for the volume element and the glossy element but then every single day that i'm just styling my hair i will pop a bit of the elixir on for heat protection so once i pop the elixir in i just go and blast it a little bit and then when it's like nearly dry that's when i obviously go in with like my blow drying brush this is the brand spanking new hair burst smoothing balm this is exactly what was missing from the hair burst collection and honestly at the minute every time they bring out a new product they just absolutely smash it this has been life-changing for me i have got the world's most frizzy hair because of what it's like when it's in its natural state so there's not a lot of things that completely smooth my hair this can be used in two ways pre blow drying it which is obviously how i'm going to use it but you can also apply it after you've styled your hair as well to smooth down flyaways this is like nothing i've ever used before i've used a lot of smoothing products in my time because lord knows i need it but i always find that they're really heavy on my hair and they tend to make it greasy very quickly but this is so lightweight i'll show it you when i pop it on but it's so lightweight and it works an absolute dream. The first time I tried it, I tried it in real time on my stories. Like, you guys watched me try it for the first time. And I was literally shook. I could not believe what it had done to my hair. But anyway, I'm going to go and just blast it quickly now that the elixir is on. And then I will come and pop this on it before I properly blow dry it. Okay, so I'm back. Here I am. Sideshow Bob in full glory, honestly. What this does to the texture of my hair is mad. So I've just blow dried my hair upside down. This is actually quite tame for my hair because I was brushing it as I was blow drying it. But honestly, you've all seen what it's like when I've got my fizz from Cory Alter Ego. But this stuff, oh my God, it's got the same um, scent as the scalp scrub that they also bought out recently. And it's just an absolute dream. Let me just show it you once it's rubbed in to my hands. So once I popped it on my hands, can see it's there but it's not too thick and creamy whereas so many smooth and balms or like smooth and products that i've used in the past are so 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 thick and really like heavy on your hair anyway i literally just run this through the mid to the ends of my hair just on either side honestly I'm obsessed with it you can just feel it like smoothing out your hair as soon as you put it on it's actually crazy and then i'm gonna go and blow dry it with my blow drying brush and then I'm going to come back and show you just how different it looks thanks to this smoothing balm. Like, honestly, it's a game changer. Darlings, I'm sorry. That's just blow dried without any straightening whatsoever, which I normally have to do, even when I use my blow drying brush. Just look at the shine from the elixir and then just look how smooth it is from the balm. It's just an absolute game changer. What a dream combination. Hello, darling. You could do with some of this, couldn't you? Because you've got the most wiry fur in the world. Anyway, yeah, absolute dream combo. The hair elixir, the hair balm. I, when I posted the hair balm on my stories when it launched, I think it was a couple of weeks ago now, so many of you tagged me in your deliveries arriving. And honestly, it's my favorite thing to see because the hair burst products are just my fave thing to chat to you all about. If you send me a message about hair burst, you will get voice notes back, just a pre-warning. I will pop my up-to-date hair burst code on screen, of course, sharing is caring, and I'll pop it in the description box down below. And let me know in the comments as well if there's a hair burst product that you guys love that I've introduced you to, because I will take full credit for that. Anyway, I'm gonna head off. I hope you've enjoyed the weekly vlog, and I just wanna say thank you so much for sticking with me through what is a very chaotic life of mine at the minute and honestly when i just go back a couple of months and i'm sat in this very room sobbing my heart out on the floor because i am totally heartbroken i'm actually quite proud of myself for how far i've come to be honest and thanks to you guys 
it got me there so thank you anyway i hope you've enjoyed it and wednesday's video is actually an updated tattoo tour which has been so highly requested so i guess i'll see you all in wednesday's video bye